Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program to display a pattern using a procedure which is named as histogram. The procedure should take a list of integer numbers. Now, depending upon the element of the list, the histogram should be printed. Now, in the example histogram of 4, 9, and 7, the first line 4 star to be printed on the second line 9 stars and on the third line 7 stars should be printed. For the same we define method which is named as histogram which takes a parameter which is list 1. Now the loop to be repeated for a number of times. So number of rows to be printed that depends upon the length of the elements which is present in the list. For that we use an outer for loop with the index variable i. Now at each row we need to display a set of elements depends upon the elements present in the list. So j takes the value first. 4 and 4 star will be printed in this example. Similarly, next time j takes in the second row, j takes the value 9 and it gets printed 9 stars. After printing each line or row of stars, the cursor needs to go to the next line. So for that purpose, we use a print method without using the end property. In the main program, First, a null list is created. The name of the list is LST. From the user, we accept an integer variable to indicate how many elements should be present in the list and get stored into the variable LN. Now, if LN is 3, we have to accept three values from the user for the list. If ln is five, in case, five values to be accepted from the user. Using a for loop, ln number of integer numbers will be accepted in a variable named as data. We are using an input method to accept a number and it get the string which get accepted will get converted into integer. Now each time a data get accepted which gets shown into the variable data will get added into the list variable lst by using the append method. So each number which is accepted from the user will get added into the list lst. Now by using the list variable we call the method which is named as histogram. The name of the method is histogram and we pass the parameter which is the list. Execute and see the program output.
Thank you for watching this video.